the only thing that really matters are two, fundamentally two things. The first is, what the hell are they going to write on your tombstone? It's historical interest. You'd be dead. You won't know about it. Right? And I got that answer by sitting on the treasury steps of one of the people that worked on the task force. Because this is a guy who was, who was a Wall Street banker, and he made a whole pile of money. And I asked him, and he went to work for incredibly poor wages in Washington. And I said, what the hell are you doing this for? He said, you could be milking some innocent client <laughs> out of the banking sector. And he said, for one very simple reason, because when I die, I want them to write on my tombstone that I made a difference. And the other part of it is that your only true value as a leader, ultimately, is going to be measured by the quality of leaders that you leave behind. Not with whether you've created FCA, but whether your successors, whether the leadership class that you leave behind is of caliber. And so our plans, everything that we do, is a weird concoction of in, an insatiable, maniacal attention to stability and a desire to breed great leaders. All of this is done in a context which considers us, which considers social responsibility to be a key. We could have made more money from time to time. We sacrificed that in order to achieve what I consider to be a better end. So for those of you who fall in love with spreadsheets and capitalism, be very careful. There's a bunch, there are a bunch of human lives that are attached to every time you move a cell. And, you, and the most difficult thing for people who invest is to invest in a leadership class that is capable of making the distinction. That's all. Thank you very much.